And now we're going into our second question of the day. It involves some proofs, which are really, really, really important in your paper too, guys. Lots of geometry proofs, lots of trig proofs. So make sure you understand them. Let's take a look. It says, given that the identity for cos of one angle minus another angle, they've denoted them A and B, is equal to cos of A times cos of B plus sine of A times sine of B, use this formula to derive a formula for sine of A minus B. Okay, guys, when you get something where you have to derive, okay, if I'm trying to find sine of A minus B, I cannot use that formula. You know it's going to be sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Cannot use that. I am proving that formula. Secondly, I cannot use any of the other compound angle formulae. I need to use my trig identities. So sine of 90 minus, cos of 90 minus, things that do not involve these compound angle formulae. Okay, if you use these, you get them wrong. You are cheating. We are trying to prove that formula. Okay, so let's go through this slowly. When I get, I've been given this formula and I'm trying to find sine. Guys, if we're working, with sine and cos, you should know that they are co-ratios, okay? So, I want you to treat this whole thing like it's an individual angle. So, what happens if I have sine of A? Maybe not use A, let me use a different letter. So, let's say I have sine of Y. You should know that that is the same as cos of 90 degrees minus Y, okay? Because when we deal with X and Y and R, these two get swapped. So cos and sine are co-ratios, okay? They deal with 90 degrees. So if we have sine of A minus B, we can say it's the same as cos of 90 degrees minus A minus B because of their co-ratio system, okay? So here, this is where we can expand. There are two ways you can do this, guys. You can either group the 90 degrees and A as your one angle, and then have B as your second. Or you can group the 90 and the B. I'm going to do that. So if you notice, we've got cos of 90 degrees plus B, because this negative times that negative will give me another negative, uh, will give me a positive. So 90 degrees plus B minus A, okay? So now, we've got this formula we can use that formula. So this is why I've put it in this situation. We've got one angle minus another angle. So we can use that formula. So that means we get cos of the first angle, 90 degrees plus B, times cos of the second angle, plus sine of the first angle, times sine of the second angle. Okay, guys, these formulae will be on your formula sheet, so make sure you know how to use them. So now, using that identity, guys, if they've given this to you, you may use it. This is the first angle, and so we've substituted it in here, and this we've denoted is the second angle, so we've substituted it in. Okay, so now we can start using these identities. Cos of 90 degrees plus beta, guys, you should know this off by heart, is sine of that angle. Because they're co-ratios, but we have a 90 plus, it becomes negative sine times cos of A, okay? Then the second half, sine of 90 degrees plus B, you should know, sine of 90 degrees plus an angle is positive cos of that angle. Learn these off by heart. Cos of 90 degrees plus an angle is equal to negative sine of that angle. If I have sine of 90 degrees plus an angle, I get positive cos of that angle. Guys, learn those off by heart. Very important. So getting back to here, cos of B times sine of A. Okay. Now, if we manipulate, because I don't like starting my equations with a negative, I'm going to get sine of A times cos of B minus cos of A times sine of B. And guys, you can go and check this on your formula sheet. Check that if you put sine of A minus B, you get this formula. Okay, very important. 
Now it says without using a calculator, show that sine of x plus 64 degrees multiplied by cos of x plus 379 degrees. Guys, that is a multiplication separated by a plus and then another multiplication, which means we're dealing with an identity. You just need to work with it. Okay. Plus sine of x plus 19 degrees times cos of x plus 244 degrees is equal to 1 over root 2. Guys, show that means you pick a side. And you prove the answer. So the left hand side, I get sine of x plus 64 degrees. Now, guys, I want you to go and take a look at the degrees you've been working with. We have 64 degrees, and then we have another angle ending in 4. So if you look at those two relationships, 244 and 64. Well, if I subtract 64 from 244, I get 180 degrees. So if I look here, I've got 64 and I've got 180 degrees plus 64. Hopefully you guys can see that. It looks a bit terrible on the orange. This angle here is 180 degrees plus 64. Okay. Try and find relationships between your angles. So now, similarly, if I look at 379 and 19, the clue is they end in the same number, guys. If I take 379 and I minus 19, I get 360. So I know that 379 is the same as 360 degrees plus 19 degrees. So if I rewrite this using those terms, Sine of x plus 64 can stay the same. Multiplied by cos of x plus 360 degrees plus 19. Okay, that deals with this first half over here. And we say plus sine of x plus 19 can stay the same. Multiplied by cos of x plus 180 degrees plus 64 degrees. Guys, try and find relationships so that you write them in terms of the same angles. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's expand this. Sine of x plus 64 can stay the same because there's not a whole lot we can do to it. Times cos of k. Guys, this is where it becomes important. If I have an angle, it'll always be an acute angle. And I add 360 degrees. I hope you guys know that that's adding a revolution, which means it goes to the same angle. So if I have x plus 19 plus 360, I get the same as x plus 19 degrees. It is exactly the same angle. I've done a whole revolution. So the next part, let me get this out of the way. Next part. Sine of x plus 19 can stay the same. Multiplied by cos of x plus 64 plus 180. Same idea, guys. If I have an angle, say this is my angle, we can call that x plus 64. Okay? If I rotate it 180 degrees, okay, straight line, 180 degrees, I'm going to wind up in the third quadrant. Is cos positive in the third quadrant? C, A, S, and T, no. So cos down here is negative. Okay, so that means that this whole situation here becomes negative cos of that angle. Get rid of this stuff. Times negative cos of x plus 64 degrees. Okay, hopefully you guys understand that. Just make sure you know your quadrants and where adding numbers will end you up. So if we look over here, we've got sine of x plus 64, that doesn't change, times cos of x plus 19, doesn't change. Now if we look over here, I've already written my plus, but I don't need to. A plus multiplied by a minus is going to give me a minus. So minus sine of x plus 19 degrees times, don't even need that bracket, times cos of x plus 64 degrees. OK, 
Okay, so now guys, this is where you need to use your brain power. This angle over here is the same as this angle over there. So we've got sine of A and cos of A, we can call them A. And then this angle over here is the same as this angle over here. So that's B and B, which means I have sine A cos B minus sine B cos A, okay? Which means that I have that formula that I was talking about. I have sine of A minus B, which means I have sine of X plus 64, which we called A, minus what we called B, which is X plus 19 degrees. So this is going to give me sine of X minus X is 0 and 64 minus 19 is 45 degrees. Okay, guys, this is one of your special angles. You should know them off by heart, but if you don't, go and double check. Sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Okay, but your special angle, your calculator automatically puts it in that formula. Your special angle, you should know if I divide both of these things by 2 or root 2. Root 2 divided by root 2 is 1 over root 2. Okay, so if you look over here, what do we need to prove? 1 over root 2. Okay, so guys, when you get something like this, even especially if it follows on from a question like this, use what you've already proved. If you've proved that sign formula, use it, guys. It's there for you. You've proved it. You can use it. Okay, make sure you try and identify which angles relate to each other. Use your formulae. Use your knowledge. Go and learn all of those identities off by heart. They're going to be so important for you. Okay. Okay.